Hi everybody, welcome, this is Adam and you're through to South Ingar Paranormal. So first and foremost on my new subscribers, big warm welcome to you all, thank you for joining me on my adventures and I was going to say uh, chuff to hit 700 but I'm now nearly 750 so the ball is definitely rolling in the right direction so I'm hoping we can hit 1000. Uh, subscribers before I know it. That's the that, that's the goal, and you know, and hopefully we can go and speak on better things from there. So again, welcome to you all. Um, please go and check out all my previous content. I've got a hell of a lot there, and you know, it's all good stuff. We do, you know, as I said, time and again. As you follow me a long time, we we try and keep things fresh. I try and dig things out, and I think, you know, just to look into areas which haven't previously had any reports of paranormal or ghosts or anything like that and as you saw from yeah they're there hello um as you see from last week when i shut my that apparition at rettendon you know that, that's an area that is not known to be haunted or anything and that's what we've got uh, i'm going to go on to rettendon a bit more in a moment uh it seems to be all i'm doing at the moment is just stuff to do with that so that's probably what's taken up a bit of my time because I did want to get out and record this weekend however the weather was atrocious so it kind of put pay to some ideas that I had but I'm going to try and do them this week uh, I'm going to try and get out and do something midweekish to sort of I mean don't worry about content I've got stuff going through at the end of January so that's that, that's by the by you know there's, there's not an issue there but uh, I just need to catch up with myself a little bit. Now the last couple of weeks I've been doing DJing on a Wednesday night, so that's due to a friend of mine not being well and I've had to cover his night, so it's kind of knocked other things that I'd like to do. I've had to sort of postpone them a little for uh, you know for a couple of weeks, so hopefully I'm gonna get back on that now and um, yeah, get some great content lined up. I mean, the weather's now nice and still, which it wasn't on the weekend. Um, Whilst the, it, was, it wasn't too rainy, it was, it's the wind, and the wind can play havoc with audio equipment, uh, you know, with microphones and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's half the reason I didn't get out, but hopefully now we're a bit still. I know it's going to be cold, but it's just going to be like last year. So I'm used to it now, you know, it's just winter in Britain, isn't it? So just, just do it. Uh, yeah, so with that in mind, uh, what's coming up this week? Now, Wednesday night, you are going to see the first of my visit to St Nicholas Church, which is with Tracy and Ricky, and basically we go looking for the ghost bride. Um, there's a story which I will elaborate on the actual day, so I'll let you watch that rather than me talk about it now. Uh, yeah, so that's what you've got to look forward to this Wednesday. And yeah, in relation to Rettendon, now... Hopefully most of you would have watched the drone footage that I did um, because Crime Centre Courtroom have used it. I've still yet to use it for my own bits. It will be, it will look a little bit different regarding the stuff that I, you know, that I'm going to be doing. As I say, I'm still trying to <laughs> figure out how and where I'm going to use all that footage. But rest assured, it will be. So um, yeah, if you guys haven't already been over Crime Centre Courtroom, go and visit their channel. I'll drop the link below, and you can see all the drone footage there. And as I've said before, they do great stuff on the veteran murders, and they also do other bits as well. So yeah, by all means, check the, check the channel out, and uh, you will not be disappointed. So I know I've got some followers that have come over from Crime Centre Courtroom. So once again, thank you to the guys at that channel for promoting my for uh, for promoting me. That's uh, very much appreciated, and let's hopefully we'll be doing a few more bits with them in uh, in future. So. Uh, Go and keep you posted on that. Yes, yeah, so just um, yeah. So there's one more thing I'd like to bring up with Retident. Now, the eagle-eyed among you would have watched the epit. <laughs> give me TV outtakes, the the little compilations I've been putting together for a Sunday night when I haven't had uh, bonus content for Tracy Cam and, and so on. And the eagle-eyed among you would have seen on Sunday night the last little clip which is of a very very damning EVP 
Now I'm going to drop it now because what this is, this EVP, which was caught by Tracy Cam, so it wasn't my recording, it was Tracy Cam that caught it. And it was using my old Nokia 8, and as I've explained many times before, my Nokia 8 seems to be particularly sensitive to picking up uh, spirit voices. But this particular EVP, could this be the one that exposes Darren Nichols? You can be the judge of it. I'll let you make your own minds up. But this is what I, well, this is what Tracy Cam called. And I, you know, as I said, for everything we've done is genuine. We do not. What we see is what you see. You know, we we try and get. I try and get all my stuff as nearer to how my evening goes as I can for you to watch. So, without further ado, I'm going to drop the EVP now. That's another one. But that, that app can spit out some random things. But when you there it is. that's another one. But that, that app can spit out some random things. But when you there it is. that's another one. But that, that app can spit out some random things. But when you So what did you think? What do you think of that? Do you think that's Darren being exposed? Um when I did my summary that was the, the, for everything we did there, you know, for Pat coming through and, and, and saying about Darren and Tony as well in the second one, saying about Darren, that to me was like the most compelling bit out of everything we did. So again, you know, it, it's up to you. What are your thoughts on that? I, I can only go with what's there. And as I, you know, as I said last week, the reason why I, I named Darren as the shooter is because of things like that. This is not me. This is what I. This, I'm saying that because of stuff like that EVP. You know, when things like that come through, that's what I'm working with. You know, so again, just remember that. So yeah, um, you know, I just say once again, make your own minds up. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I, I've got a feeling we will be going back there just as soon as I can compile some more questions. It would be nice to get back on the 6th of December again for the uh, for the anniversary. It is, however, a Monday night. So that could... We'll, we'll see what happens. That's all I'm saying. And it could even be live if we do do it. Uh, and the reason being, which I'm going to move on to quickly now, um, some of you have noticed that I haven't really done much in the way of live Bits. Now I did that one at Hornchurch and the reason being I, I think I pointed out on the Hornchurch I've kept away from doing live is because I've had some audio issues. Now hopefully I've just rectified that because if anyone's just watched a little a quick little live session I did, it was about two minutes long, I had a microphone turn up from Wish which I will show you now. Now I think I said this cost fiver, all right? Uh, it is almost true. The postage and packaging was a fiver. This actually cost seven pound. But I mean, for twelve quid, I mean, come on. And as you've just seen with the little live stream I did, it works. So hopefully now uh, I'm going to get a uh, couple of little dead cats. The uninitiated dead cats are the wind socks you put on mics. So I'm going to get hold of a couple of them, but just having that little quick try out showed to me that it works, so I'm happy. So hopefully now I can maybe do some more live streaming, fingers crossed. So uh, yeah, we're going to have that to look forward to. So um, yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with that. Just a little rechargeable microphone. Um, that plugs in the bottom of your phone if you've got USB-C. I think I just said quickly on that live stream, the issue I have with... My Nokia 9 as opposed to my Nokia 8 is that with my 8 it had a separate headphone socket whereas with the 9 it's just a USB-C only and I did buy a couple of USB-C splitters so you've got you know the headphone microphone coming off one side and then the other bit just for a charger but for some reason although the headphone side of it worked the charging bit didn't and as I say I've tried two or three different leads so What's going on with that, I don't know. 
um, but hopefully now and I've just tried this because this plugs directly into the bottom and it has a the little I'm not yeah I am but it has a little socket there and I've just tried that and it works I can run power through this so um, yeah I'm, I'm chuffed so as long as that's got a charge I'm fine <laughs> but that was the issue I had because I tried um, I have a I do have a, a Lavellia uh, radio mic which you've seen when I did the uh, Billy Jasper special and when I did I think it was yeah it was the second with Rettenden visit when the girl cut into my mic uh, she just cut my mic because she was getting impatient about one uh, you know about needing help so yeah um, whilst that was working with the phone I couldn't have the phone on charge so I was limited to the amount of time I could spend um, you know doing the live stream so now hopefully we've got it cracked fingers crossed <laughs> So, yeah, there we go. Um, as I said, this Wednesday, St. Nicholas Church, Langdon. We got some weird responses there. Uh, and it appeared to be linked to the story. As I said, watch it and I'll explain in full on the night. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. If I think of anything else this week, I might do a little special. We will see you Wednesday night. See you again. Bye bye.